Hello, so this is going to be a quick review of the IRA T2 Search or Infinaray T2 Search, whatever they call it, but basically it's the Chinese thermal thing that basically is um, a competitor to the FLIR or the FLIRs that plug into your phone. So it plugs in via USB-C, so in my phone that plugs in at the charging port, and basically it's a little tiny manually focusable thermal camera that uses its own app, um, which you can record videos with or take photos. And the only other thermal I've got to compare this with is my FLIR TK Scout. And compared to the Scout, I'll do a direct comparison video with them at some point. But this is higher resolution than the Scout and it has more features, I guess, because it's mostly using your phone for all the processing. Um, so, although it's still low resolution, because it's a thermal camera, it's um, much higher resolution than the FLIR, probably about three times the resolution for the Scout. And um, it's also higher frame rate when you record video. So rather than being like something like 7 FPS, it's something like 25 FPS. The only issue I've noticed that you might see in some of the pictures is sometimes you get a strange scan line type effect. I found if you close the app and reopen it or pull the camera out and put it back in, that generally fixes that. But it's a bit irritating if it does come on while you're filming something. So no idea what that is. Maybe that's a bug that they can fix in a software update. Um, but yeah, using it out and about, it's pretty damn good. You can probably see that there's a load of pictures of sheep here, and there'll be a load of pictures of dogs later on. Um, what really impressed me is when I was using it out at night, and you could see somebody walking along in a distance, which I hadn't even seen with my eye, and the like floating temperature thing was going above them. So what this does is you can see the hottest points on there, sort of air temperature and, you know, everything else. So if you ever see on any of these pictures, like a bit of the sky where it says like 5 Celsius or whatever, that's just sort of the ambient temperature. And then most living things seem to be 30 odd Celsius, sort of where their faces are. Um, so sheep look interesting on this, as you can see. So um, I won't talk over it anymore, but yes, this is definitely worth getting if you're into thermals. Um, the price-wise, it's very competitive compared to the FLIR. I don't know how the price of this compares to the direct, com you know, like directly um, related FLIR unit in terms of price range, but. Um, this is probably going to be about half the price for further the price, knowing sort of what FLIR prices their units out. Because um, I think the TK Scout is still 400 to 600 pounds, and that's quite an obsolete model by this point. Mm -hmm.